Today I'm going to show you how to share files between a Mac and a PC. I've got a 2017 MacBook Pro running OS X Sierra, the latest version, and also a Windows Surface Pro 2017 running the latest version of Windows 10. Now there's a number of different ways to do this, but I'm going to show you what I think is the easiest way to perform file sharing between Macs and PCs. Before we get started, we need to do one thing, and that is to make sure that both units are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Once you've done that, you're ready to go. Let's get started. Step one is to enable file sharing on the Mac. In order to do this, you'll click on the Apple logo on the top left hand corner of the screen and you'll see an option for system preferences. There is a folder labeled sharing, click on this. And make sure that the file sharing option is selected and that's all you need to do at this stage. You can also click on the options button, you don't need to do this and double check that the checkbox is selected to share files using SMB. And one last option for you is to enable Windows file sharing, which means that Windows users can log in to the Mac and access all files. But for what I'm showing you today, you don't actually need to do this. Just the top one, enabling SMB is all that we need. Step two is to turn on file sharing on Windows to do this. Tap on or click on the Windows icon on the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Select the settings icon and then click on network and internet. Then go and select sharing options and make sure the first option network discovery is turned to on. And secondly, make sure file and printer sharing is also turned on. Step three is to create a share folder on my surface. I'm going to create my share folder on my desktop. So to do this, I'm going to right click on the desktop and select create new folder. I'm going to give my folder the name to Mac because this is the folder that I'll be dragging in my files to share with my Mac. You can call this any name you choose. Once you've created the folder, you'll now need to change the properties so that you can enable full access for sharing. So I'll again, right click on the folder, select properties, and then I'll select the next tab along called sharing. And just below there's an advanced sharing option button. If you select that, some options appear. And first of all, you can select the share this folder checkbox, which means that you're going to share the folder. And then secondly, you can check the permissions button and you can go and change it from read only to read and write. And to do that, you need to also enable the button called change. And now we're almost ready for sharing. There is one final step, and that is to find the IP address of my Windows machine so that I can log in from my Mac. So step four, we're going to use IP config to find our Windows computer IP address. You can do this in the command prompt. To find your command prompt software, go into the search area in the Windows toolbar and type in command prompt. And you'll see that the command prompt desktop app appears as an option. Tap on that. We're going to type in the word IP config or one word. So it's IP C O N F I G. Then press enter. And then this will show you a range of different IP numbers for your computer. The one that we want is our IP V4 address. So it's the second one in the string of IP numbers. It's not the link local IPv6 address. It's not the subnet mask, nor the default gateway. It's the second one along called IPv4. So you can take a note of that IP address, and now we're going to head over to the Mac. So the final step is connecting to the Windows machine from the Mac. To do this is really straightforward. We're going to go to the Finder uh, Mac, so I'm going to tap on my desktop to make sure that I reveal the Finder menu at the top. We're going to the Go menu, and then the very last option is Connect to Server. And you can see there's also a keyboard shortcut, which is Command and K. Now we're going to type in that IP address that we saw on our Windows machine. But before we do so, we need to type in the prefix SMB. 
So we type it in as SMB colon forward slash forward slash and then the IP address. Your IP number will certainly be different depending on your router. Make sure you key this in correctly and then you can click on the button connect at the bottom of the window. Once you've done this, you'll then be presented with a login screen and you can connect as a guest or a registered user. I'm going to go in as a registered user on my Windows machine, as I mentioned earlier. So I'm going to type in my Windows username and password. This may take a while to connect, so be patient while it's doing so. Now I've got a couple of options that I can connect to the 2Mac folder that I just created directly. And this is gonna make it very easy to have one place to store all the files that I'm sharing between the two machines. Or if I want to, I could select the users option, which will then give me access to some subfolders on the hard drive of my Microsoft Surface. I'm gonna take the easy option and share to that folder that I created specifically for this purpose. So what you'll notice on your Mac now is that you'll see a disk image mounted called to Mac or whatever it is that you call that folder. Now you can open that folder and drag files into it and they'll now appear on your Windows machine. And this also works the other way around where I can drag a file from my Windows environment into the to Mac folder and then it will appear when I look at it on the Mac computer. So in my opinion, this is the easiest way of sharing files between a Mac and PC. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to hit the notification bell next to it and that will ensure that you're notified of up and coming video releases. See you on the next one, bye for now.